Hello my dorklings, today we're going to be doing a different kind of video. I posted on all social media asking you guys this specific question and boy did you guys deliver. The only downside is you guys did it mostly anonymously so I can't really credit people, we're just going to have to go along with it. So without further ado, let's begin with the first question. The first question that was asked was my buddy Mr. Smithy from Instagram. He asked, do you pray after you crop dust the innocent? Personally, I, I do pray. I pray to, to every god there is and, and to Satan as well that they they can hold their breath long enough to make it out alive and I pray that their families don't have to suffer the same fate or be anywhere near me. So thank you Smithy that that was that was a good question. Aww. The next question we have came from my co-worker she asked to remain anonymous as well but she asked me what you gonna do with all that junk? Well, listen here, Kelsey. For one, I don't know what junk you're referring to. Bruh. And two, even if I knew what junk you were talking about, I wouldn't tell you. You're going to go around and tell Laura. And who wants that? And lastly, you're an instigator. I know you're an instigator because Frank told me. That's right. Frank can't keep his mouth shut. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting flustered. We're going to the next question. This next question comes from an anonymous user on threads. That's right. I'm on threads now. The question reads, is OJ innocent? Listen. I like orange juice as much as the next guy, but I've never officially asked. How am I supposed to know if orange juice is innocent? I don't even know what crimes it could be committed of. Maybe excessive pulp? But other than that, I, I don't know. I don't know if orange juice is innocent or not. Like, what kind of question is this? For our next question, it is an anonymous user in my Discord. The question reads, how do you eat your Oreos? That is a very good question, Anon, because I don't even know what Oreos are. Is it something that's edible or is this some kind of sick prank. Actually, you know what? Don't answer that. I take my question back because I think you're trying to use some psychology bullcrap that I don't even know about and, and you're trying to trick me into answering a dumb question and, and for that answer I have to tell you that I love my Oreos. I, I eat them just the stuff. I don't even eat the cookie. I, I know exactly what you're trying to do and I know exactly what kind of cookie you're talking about and, and I eat them. I just and then throw them away and I eat the middle and the middle only just the cream. Our next question comes from an anonymous user on Hive. They asked, how many glory holes have you visited in the last 90 days? Let's see if I carry the seven and divide. You know what? That's no one's business. Moving on to question number five. There are 10 of these, by the way. Anonymous asks, can you leave your window unlocked tonight? It was annoying trying to break down your door last time. Bro, I hate to tell you this, whoever you are, but uh, my window was always unlocked. Honestly, I think you're at the wrong place, my guy. Question number six, anonymous in my Discord asks, why do you wipe the lipstick off after I kiss you? Listen, if I'm being completely honest here, there are a lot of things I do in my sleep that I just really have no control over, and I'm sorry about that. I suggest next time you kiss me again, maybe even harder. Well, good luck with that, and Godspeed. Question number eight comes from AO Fitness 16 on Instagram. They asked me, have you ever chained up a random guy and had him perform on game shows as your own money pet? And if he ever spoke out on live television, would have he been shot? First of all, I told you not to talk about that. We don't talk about that subject. And second of all, no, I never have, never will. I honestly, I don't, I don't know another man, Smithy. Don't even actually know him, believe it or not. And uh, furthermore, I don't know where I could purchase a chain, even if I wanted to do any of that weird stuff. So uh, leave me alone. Question number nine is from Anonymous, go figure, on Hive. Anonymous asked me, if you were Amish, would you look at ankle p or knee p For one, who's to say I'm not Amish, right? I mean, I get that I have the blue hair, uh, but, but you know, that's none of your business for one. But, being the honest man that I am, I would probably have to go for the knees, you know? I mean, like, I love me a good pair of knees. Especially the ones that, you know, just kind of pop, just the and whatever. I don't know, just, just something about it, man. Uh, I, I have to move on to the next question. It's just, whoo! <laughs> Question number 10 comes from Mr. Smithy, go figure, on Twitch in my DMs. Why, why did you message me on... Anyway, Smithy asked me, if you had no arms, what method would you use to scratch your nuts? See, I really love this question because there are so many scenarios that can happen, right? There are like so many scenarios just just use your imagination but i i guess um again i, I i'm just being completely honest here 110 percent i swear 
I would, I'd probably have to do the, the dog method, you know? Kind of like when dogs scratch their butt, they have to sit down and then like hike their legs up in the air and then they have to, you know, scoot across the floor. I'd probably do some variation of that, but honestly, it would, it would probably be backwards, you know? I, I feel like I could probably scoot backwards a little bit better. And depending on what surface I'm sitting on, I, I think it would feel really nice. Maybe like a shag carpet, you know, like like a, a beige shag carpet, the one from Walmart, you know what I'm talking about, you know? Yeah, I don't know, I think that would be nice. That would be nice. Wait a minute, so so was that was that actually 10 questions? We, we managed to get 10 questions? That's that's actually kind of a lot. Oh my God, thank you guys. All right, that was actually really fun. I hope you guys learned a lot about me and how honest of a person I actually am. I would actually like to make another video like this. So if you guys wanna ask me some questions and then I'd be 110% honest and transparent with you, Scouts Honor, then you can either leave them in the comments of this video down below. You can tweet them to me. You can send them to me over threads, send them an Instagram, join my Discord server, whatever you wanna do. That, that's that's what these guys did. Anyways, make sure you sub smash, like, subscribe to all the cool stuff down below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!